Bonner on the inside. Look at this brilliant racing. <laughs> you want to burn all the bikes in the world in one night? What do you think about MotoGP? Bonjour et bienvenue to Le Mans, home of French motorsport and fifth round of the MotoGP season. To the world, Le Mans is synonymous with motorsport racing, but for the local people of this sleepy medieval town, what do they think about MotoGP? Bah, je trouve que c'est bien, c'est enfin quand je change les vrais motards. Alors moi j'ai une préférence pour Rossi, mais la majeure partie de mes copains ici sont plutôt euh, Marquez. 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 Un, deux, trois. Marquez. Trois Marquez, trois Rossi, bon c'est assez équilibré. C'est équilibré. What do you think about MotoGP? We could not come to Le Mans and not stop by the museum. There's so much history packed in just one place. Oh yes, for sure, because Le Mans definitely is now really well known for the 24 hours of Le Mans, which is probably the most popular uh, racing car in the world. And the history of Le Mans 24 is, is well known everywhere. And when did Le Mans host the first ever bike race? The first ever bike race was in 1912 and 1930s. Imagine Valentino Rossi in 1912 riding on this bikes. That bike is almost 100 years old. 140 km per hour and you have only four to brake. It's like a bicycle brake. Like, like a bicycle system. That is the winning bike of the 125cc here in Le Mans 69. Fabi, if you had to describe the French Grand Prix in one word, what would it be? Um, crazy. Crazy. One of the craziest one. Rain. The weather. Changeable weather. So yeah. two words. Noisy. Loud. No way to sleep here. <laughs> I couldn't sleep even Wednesday night. I would like to sleep. The party are very close to the motor. During the night and during the day, everybody is uh, full throttle with the bikes. You want to burn all the bikes in the world in one night? Still on the weekend. Come on. The one word that everyone should know in French. Bonjour. 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 <laughs> C'est parfait. Parfait. Parfait is a good parfait, word. Yes. Parfait. Merci. It's about the only one I know, so this is it. <laughs> <laughs> S'il vous plaît. Bonjour. Uh, allez, 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 Marquez. <laughs> Where is the podium? In French it would be C'est par où le podium? C'est par où le podium? <laughs> C'est par où le podium? <laughs> Bonjour, ça va? Et je m'appelle Alex. Je m'appelle Marc. <laughs> Comment tu t'appelles? Je m'appelle Vanessa. Ah, le <laughs> truc, moi. Thank you, Marc. Now, this is Marc Marquez. Oh, that's the oh. difference. That's the difference, isn't it? How's your look? How oh, is your look? Oh, my word. Marc Marquez. I mean, that was defying gravity to a ridiculous extent. It's now time for a vlog takeover. And so we're here at the technical trucks from Red Bull KTM to meet up with one of the boys. So let's see who's in here. Hi, Jean. Hello, Vanessa. How are you? Good, good. Yeah. So it's now Jean who's going to be taking over. Oh, uh, wait. It's important to always wear the cap. There you go. I'm shaking a bit. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> go for it. The box is just here. I don't know if we can see the bikes because maybe they are all open. And okay. in the factory team, we cannot show everything. Here is the place to warm the tires. And when it's cold, do you guys ever come around the tire warmer area? Yes. Hmm? Uh, to warm in, up a bit? in Australia, we use it a lot because this is like a like a room. How warm do they get? I think it's around around hundred, eh? between hundred. Like hundred. Yeah, you see, I'm right. I could be a rider, a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Good carbon disc, also that must be warm. But once it's hot, it can stop uh, everything. It's computer everywhere. Things that <laughs> we don't even understand. Hold on, I hold on a minute. Really so you bit. don't even understand that? No, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the special helmet, uh, this one. Not my used helmet, but special for the French GP. You've had a pole position here, your first ever pole position in MotoGP, and you've also had a podium. Which one is your favorite memory? Pod podium. Really, the final result in race is always the one that <sighs> your weekend is down, and that's good. Here is the... Um, Pit board also. What information do you ask your mechanics to give you on the pit board? In the practice is how many laps I'm doing. I'm okay. usually doing five laps each run. Mm -hmm. So it's like L4, 3, 2, 1, and box. On the bottom, uh, I use the best lap of the session. Okay. 
Um, here around can be the position. Best thing is when you see P1. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy this whole explanation. It's pretty and, cool. Uh, Thank you, Joan. Merci beaucoup. Tchuss, de rien. This is the reaction game. So you need to tap once and wait for all the lights to go out and then tap just like on the starting grid. So touch, touch the screen. Jump start. <laughs> I need to... Go do the long lap penalty or uh, go in the pit lane? That pit lane, pit that's, lane. that's, yeah, it's a right through. Two, 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 five. Point two, five, four. Ooh, not bad. Not, not bad. bad. We're here at the Petronas Hospitality with Franco Morbidelli and Fabio Quartararo. You're going to be using noise cancelling headphones and I'm going to be whispering words and you're going to try to figure it out. Okay. Who wants to go first? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I go. <laughs> okay, so first word. Pole position. <laughs> pole position. Bonjour. Who's <laughs> no. pole position? Ah, pole position. <laughs> Le Mans. Circuit. Le Mans, Jerez. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> it was so good. Jack Miller. Jack Miller? Yes. Not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Team Petronas. Team Petronas. Yes. Ah. Good. <laughs> that was easy, that was easy. Time attack. Time attack. <laughs> step by step? I don't know. I don't know. There was time attack. Time attack. Carbon fiber. Go again. <laughs> Carbon fiber. I don't know. <laughs> Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Do you guys I was wanna... thinking about Harman Kardon, but. <laughs> yeah. French GP. French GP. <laughs> not <laughs> was, bad. Not this bad. Was easy. This was easy. Uh, well, now it's my turn to, to give it a try. So. Just say it in French. Say a French. Who word. starts? Who starts? Circuit Bugatti. Circuit Ducati? Uh, Bugatti? Yes. Circuit Bugatti. Yay. So maybe you don't have... Oh, oh no, no, you no, 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 it was, it was blasting. Let me check. <laughs> it's not so uh, loud, huh? She's a trick, eh? She's a bit of a trick. I tricker. didn't touch a thing. Best of luck for the weekend. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. I am on my way to visit Mika, who is the show technician who services all the helmets for the show riders. Hello, Mika. Salut, Vanessa. You're missing a few helmets, huh? Yeah, I still miss for um, uh, Odendal and Janonju. Oh, Odendal and Janonju. Oh, yeah. speaking of Odendal. Hey, mate. How are you? I'm good. And you? I saw you on the TV. <laughs> Not for the good reason. What did you do? Oh, dear. Guys, he had to go in tighter, didn't he? You know, mm -hmm. to pass the rider. So he's like a meter and a half tighter, trying to do the same speed. It's just harder to do, you know? I was just trying to save your helmet, <laughs> your beautiful helmet from the ground, and I managed to do so a little bit. Yeah, but I saw you, I think you saved it. No, no you didn't. <laughs> Depending on the kind of crash it is, yep. you can maybe reuse it again, is that it? Yep, and maybe okay. this one, and I'm not sure this one will be used again. Okay. You really saved the helmet. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Bye, Steven. How many helmets do you have per rider? We will prepare at least three, four helmets. One helmet is prepared with a dark for the sun condition, second helmet for the rain one, and the third helmet is prepared in regard of the forecast. Some riders use different tint of visor. Thomas will have black, black visor for the sun. Okay. For this kind of cloudy situation, it's a bit more light. I don't know okay, if you yeah, can Okay, yeah, we can see, yes. What is the material that is used to make the helmets? So a mix of fiberglass and a special fiber. For sure, it's a AIM fiber. I don't know what's in it, it's kind okay. of secret. Uh, oh. Yes. <laughs> and then after you have the liner, which is a polystyrene. Mm -hmm. So for sure it's a different density of polystyrene to make a progressive absorption. Blow up the dust. One pin lock. So the pin lock is to avoid the mist on the visor. When it rains and it's cold, like in Le Mans, to be sure we won't have any mist on the visor, we'll put what we call the mask, like this. You put that there. Makes me think of uh, Darth Vader. <laughs> and now the helmet is ready for the rain. That's all. Pretty good. You have here the Marc Marquez helmet. Yep. How long after Marc comes out with the design do you have it as a replica? Marc has a replica of this helmet for 
uh, more than one year now, but every two years he has a new design. Okay. So every two years we would make a replica. The two rough is a kind of a dirt protection. Here we have a lot of bugs. Imagine it's completely dirty. The yes. ju he just has to pull it like this. And he has another thin visor. We can put maybe three, we could put four, but usually three is enough for a race. When I arrived in this paddock 10 years ago, I saw some rider uh, they had on the tear rough a kind of tape here. Yeah. So the tape was to make it more solid. They used tape to make their own color yellow for uh, valet, for example. I wanted to put my signature on the helmet, so I start to to draw. So you could see uh, this one is marked, but you could see the Bradley's flag and his number like this on a small square. Bradley and John. Thomas. Yeah. Quite a few. Yeah, for a trader, I have one. Cool. So this helmet is finished now. Perfect. I just erase my print mark. I check that the visor is correctly attached, that the pads are correctly attached. The sweat pad is correctly stuck. Sweat pad is this blue stuff. It's just to trap the sweat before it flowed down the nose of the rider. The helmet of Mark is ready. Perfect. We can ring him and tell him, oh, come, come on, kid, take your <laughs> helmet. Or, or, or I could take it. Yeah, you can bring it to him. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'll be back. Over there. Thank you, Mika. <laughs> So guys, for obvious reasons, I couldn't keep Mar Marquez's helmet. Well, in any case, thanks, Shoe, for giving us this behind-the-scenes look. Out of the final time we come, it's going to be McVie from pole to win here in France with Dallaporta second and Kinnett third. And Johan Stigerfeld and Razzle and Razzle and the Patronus Sprinter team have themselves a victory. As per usual in Le Mans, we never know what the weather has in store for us. So let's see what happens in the race. Lights out in Le Mans. Brilliant start from Mar Marquez and Miller's up the end side of Mark Marquez. Look at this brilliant racing. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Marquez makes it 300 for Honda here in Le Mans. The French GP has come to an end and much to everyone's surprise there was no rain during the MotoGP race but we did have some drama even before the lights went out with Joan Mead and Carol Abraham crashing during the warm-up lap. Once the race started we saw Mark Marquez leading the race with Jack Miller right behind him and overtaking him in the first couple of laps and battling it out with him. But it didn't last long. Andrea Dovizioso and Danilo Petrucci overtook him, making this their first double Ducati podium of the season and the first podium for Danilo Petrucci as an official factory Ducati rider. I am really pleased for Paul Espargaro and the Red Bull KTM team since they had a really solid race day. Paul started off the race from ninth place on the grid and managed to go all the way up to fifth in only two laps and then had a very consistent race and managed to finish sixth. And last but not least, we have to talk about Mar Marquez, who was the man who had the pace and won the French Grand Prix, giving Honda its 300th victory in the MotoGP class. Join us next time for the Gran Premio d'Italia a Oclay and Mugello for the sixth round of the MotoGP season. Let us know in the comments below what you enjoyed about the vlog and what would you like to see next. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the Red Bull Motorsport YouTube channel so you won't miss another episode of Inside Pass. And if you have, where have you been?